Hello everyone, welcome. My name is Kevin Tama, and I will be your instructor in this lesson. So uh, we will make an, uh, something uh, different inside this lesson. We are going to, uh, to uh, see how we can make an abraded uh, chord inside a Blender. We will model this. You can achieve uh, this result using a texture, but if, uh, if you want to make an, a close-up shot, you should uh, model uh, these things. Uh, it uh, will be uh, make uh, some geometry and take a lot of vertex around uh, five. Uh, or half of uh, 5k uh, uh, of uh, polygons uh, so let's see how we can model this from scratch so let's uh, begin uh, our uh, screen uh, so uh, I will start from an uh, bus so I will uh, go here and add an bus curve from a curve so bus and uh, let's uh, going to make it here and I will go to the curve panel and after that I will uh, choose the full preview 12 and render will be maybe 8 and 8 and after that the, re the resolution will be 0 0.2 and resolution let's say it will be 2 I will uh, push the resolution up and then I will go to going to the edit mode and scale x.7 uh, select this one and alt s so alt s then going to select all and scale the point seven and uh, then we have this one and uh, basically uh, we want to uh, duplicate this item but before that I will do, uh, going to duplicate it and moving here and I found that if we going to activate the background images and uh, after that I want to convert it to a mesh and after that uh, we want to duplicate it rotate in the Z and moving to this item and uh, I think uh, I will join and after that I will uh, rotate 45 and selection the cursor then I want to make an array in this direction point four two maybe and slightly lower here minus point o two and here point four and it will be twelve and uh, then and uh, then it should work and let's rotate like this and I want it to be straight so uh, I will rotate like this so this is aligned with this one alright here we are so I will uh, make an also an array this one will be 3 only in minus 1 this will be 0 and let's increase this one I mean uh, that we must decrease this one so after that I will go to the side view and shift C to add and circle and this will be a nerve circle nerve circle rotate around Y and scale like this then I will select this one and add and curve this will be the nerve circle of course 
and you can choose from this one so we have done the item and I think that it should be minus Z alright so we have done this one it's in the minus Y and after that I want to scale this circle select all and scale until it match this and I think now we are done for this part so I will select all and uh, duplicate in the Y uh, if we uh, sometimes need this original or you can save your file and uh, after that I will apply and apply and apply this one then uh, we can apply the rotation and the scale and apply or add an array modifier and this array will be here so minus point uh, eight eight point eight seven point eight six and all right and after that let's increase this value maybe to uh, six or seven and uh, let's add an curve this year so and scale this one and then add a curve modifier choose this curve and g in the x and I think now we are uh, done and let's uh, so there is here some issue because the circle wasn't perfectly aligned so uh, we can how we can handle this let's hide this one from the render so control T to make it in the bottom but we can go to going to the source and uh, from here and fix this one so scale like this so scale point mine two and you are now done here Uh, so uh, let's go back and I will select all and scale point two and moving in the Y direction like this and shift C add an image a plane and let's make an render so this will be our uh, rope or our, co our cord and I want to move in the Z axis after applying all of these and then we want to make and create and shot here also the focal lens will be 80 look camera to view and make it like this if you want to make an, a texture for this one you must uh, select it in the beginning and UV unraveling but UV unraveling uh, now doesn't uh, make sense Uh, for making it more real we must set a uh, texture for that I only need a sun lamp strength maybe 3 duplicating the sun lamp and rotate here this one will be one and another color of course let's see what we will get now so it's maybe 
what we want and let's render it now using samples of 25 and here we are i hope you enjoy uh, this uh, lesson see you in the next tutorial after rendering it you can uh, choose the render button of course